एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सीरीज गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू अबाउट अनदर ऑप्शंस व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन आवर एज योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट सो बेसिकली इन दिस सेशन आई एम प्लानिंग टू गिव यू कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एज योर स्टोरेज सर्विसेज so as we know that in our azure storage we have a n number of options are available these options can help us to manage the storage like as a blob or container file share table and queues so we have already discussed about how to manage blob and about the concept of access tier life cycle management these all are the points that we have already discussed in our previous session now i'm going to move ourselves to next topic in azure storage and in this class i'm going to guide you about azure file share service as we know that storage is really important service for every organization if you want to establish if you want to upload your on premises data over a cloud then azure storage can help us so let's talk about the file share so guys you can compare the file share service with our on premises map network drive in case of our on premises map network drive what we need to do we need to establish one file server and create one folder and share with full permission right same folder you need to access from another machine another client operating system which is available just need to connect your folder connect access your share folder and configure as a map network drive by using the map network drive you are able to upload your data or download your data anytime without provide without giving any credential right as it is over azure portal in azure storage account we have option of uh, azure file share by using azure file share services we are able to configure a map network drive and map be map our file share with any on premises machine or any virtual machines as well means by using file share service we can map the space map the file share to any computer which is available on on premises or any virtual machines uh, which is running over azure portal so this is our agenda i'm going to move ourselves to azure portal and discuss about the procedure how to establish azure file share service clear but before that if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so do subscribe teach me cloud because the teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical without skipping any step so let's move ourselves to desktop screen and help you how to configure azure file share file share services okay now we are on page of our desktop screen let me explain you about the concept of azure file share and after that we'll move ourselves to portal and discuss about procedure right so in previous session we discussed about access tier and how we can configure life cycle management to create a rule to change the access tier let's try to understand about the concept of azure file share right as per the name suggest it works just like a map network drive for example this is our azure storage right this is azure storage account as you know that if you want to use any azure services related to the storage you must need to create a storage account in single azure storage account we are able to find n number of options like a container file share table queues so our responsibility to understand about the concept of file share file share can give you by default 5 tb of space but you have option to change it like i'm going to proceed and create one file share with capacity of maybe 20 gig right and after that will add or map the same 20 gig of space to our on premises our virtual machine or any uh, resource which is available in anywhere right how we can do that we just need to create a file share and after that we'll try to map to multiple virtual machines for this particular task open your azure portal and uh,
select and create one storage account which is mandatory right so meanwhile i'm also creating one virtual machine that can help us to uh perform the task related to the file share because it's really important for us we must need to know about the procedure how to configure azure file share service correct So what we need to do, first of all, you need to create a one storage account. And uh, after that, you need to provide the access of uh, your virtual machine. You also need to create uh, at least one virtual machine that we'll use to map the drive, right? So let me provide my password. Okay. Open your Azure portal and after that we need to create one virtual machine for testing purpose and uh, then we'll create a one uh, storage account as well because the file share is a feature of a storage account. Select your resource group name, virtual machine name, location and our operating system that you want to create. provide username and password which is help us to make a connection between on premises to azure virtual machines rdp no need to do anything click next 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 and create meanwhile i'm going to open another wizard not a portal another wizard and uh, try to create one storage account select a storage account and although i have already created one storage account but unfortunately which is available in central us let me create one more storage account and a storage account should be available it's not mandatory but for the safety purpose we just need to create it in same location of our virtual machine training 1988 storage i want to create it in same location like asia pacific japan east GRS yes I'm just going to proceed make it public access review and create no need to make any changes virtual machine is in progress and our storage is also in progress it may be take uh, one or two minute once our storage account is ready to use we will connect with our virtual machine now both is in progress wait for a few seconds Our virtual machine is ready to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the RDP of same virtual machine. Select RDP, download RDP tool and proceed to connect. Username is web and password. You must need to provide your password. And we just need to open our storage account is also ready to use. This is our virtual machine that we created Windows Server 2016. Open a storage account and in this storage account, we are able to find file share. Just need to click here, click file share and type the file share name is share storage. How much you want to create, right? How much space you want to 
stored in file share just need to create by default it give you a uh, 5 tb of space to upload your data from on premises but if you are to reduce the capacity of our, our file share so we have option to change the quota 5 tb i'm just going to edit it i want to share 25 gig space only click okay that's it we successfully created a file share how we can connect to the virtual machine the another important uh, procedure that must we must need to know so for this particular task we have a various way let me connect it open our file share that we created this is file share storage sorry share storage just need to open our file share that we created and we have option of connect just need to click connect windows linux mac and number of options are available we have a two different way to make a connection one with the help of active directory and second storage account key so i'm just going to proceed with so script means storage account key and copy the entire information or just need to copy this particular name copy the information open your virtual machine window plus r type notepad paste the document that you copied and make it word wrap what you need to do just need to copy the storage account name how we can find it the storage account name you can copy from our portal or just need to copy the storage account name by using this particular url right open my computer or this pc and it will redirect your own page of map network drive select computer and select map network drive select your drive letter that you want to use i'm going to proceed with drive letter z paste and connect using different credential click finish it will redirect you on username and password very simple the username you need to find from this particular option the username is this one local host training storage this is our username copy as it is password we are able to find password just need to copy the password and paste here and click okay within second we are able to copy we are able to connect our 25 gig space that we shared from the share storage or file storage if you upload any data the capacity of this particular drive is 25 gig i'm going to create one folder from our virtual machine like local data create few text file as well this is test file i'm going to save it back to the azure portal and verify your data storage we are able to find local data that we created and under the local data we are able to find txt file so it means that our file share is working properly and i hope you all of you understand about the concept of file share if you have any question please drop a comment and do subscribe your teach me cloud youtube channel we'll connect soon with another uh, topic in another session take care guys bye bye